This is a US Army panoramic adapter model BC1031C which operates with a receiver having an IF around about 455 kilohertz. Um, I've just been uh, checking the tubes on this. Uh, there's one or two tubes that were very weak and one that was um, was completely uh, non-functional which was the input tube and that's really all I've done is replace that tube and um, replace another um, 6AC7 tube in here um, and I've got it coupled up to a, a Howard receiver uh, which has got an IF of 455kHz and it's uh, connected to the um, quite see it in there but it's connected to the plate of the uh, of the mixer tube uh, via a 47 kilo ohm resistor and a 0.1 microfarad capacitor and it goes to the input of the uh, the pan adapter down there and I've got the antenna of the receiver coupled to a signal generator and the receiver is tuned to 5 megahertz thereabouts just there. So let's listen for the signal. The air modulation as I move it around five kilo five megahertz. Not quite a strong signal going in there and it's uh, it's in stopping the S meter. And switch the uh, panoramic adapter on. Takes uh, 20 30 seconds to, uh, to warm up. And it takes a little longer to uh, the display to stabilize. If you turn the, the gain down, the baseline becomes almost horizontal. <laughs> I'll say I've done no adjustments to this. It's really all I've done is a few tweaks to the position and the horizontal vertical alignment, brilliance and focus. I tried playing around with these controls as well to get the best line I could. Looks a little bit distorted. When you turn the gain up, you start to get some signal coming through there. And as I move the uh, frequency around, it's set on exactly five. That's exactly five megahertz there. And there's a signal in, right in the center of the scale, or roughly in the center of the scale. Can be varied a little bit with this control. It's very noisy, but if you look carefully, you'll see the as I turn the frequency down, you'll see a, what, what that trace move downwards. You can see a trace moving down towards the bottom end of the scale and it vanishes off there. And that must be due to the passband of the um, panoramic adapter being a little bit too tight. And the frequency where it vanishes there is 4934. It should be 4.9 because uh, this should be plus or minus 100 kilohertz from the 455 kilohertz center mm -hmm. frequency. So I'll just wind the frequency back up. You see it coming back up. It's now in the center of the passband there and uh, going above the center. And there's a sudden peak there. Seems to indicate there's some alignment issue inside here. That's the sort of peak I would be expecting all the way across the uh, the passband. And we're now at uh, 5.11 megahertz, so that's just over 100 kilohertz high. So there's some non-linearity in the scale here as well. I'll keep increasing the frequency, and it vanishes off the scale. Well, did you just see it moving right at the bottom of the scale there? A little peak at the end and we're at 5.166 megahertz so uh, I think with some uh, some cleaning and some alignment um, I think we should be able to get this 
functioning reasonably well. I'll just slot it down to the bottom end of the scale again there, back up to the centre. Uh, this is the sweep width control, which uh, does alter the, the width. I'm not quite exactly sure what that does. Probably needs a little bit of uh, reading of the manual by myself there. And it's sort of set centrally. This is the centre position. You're supposed to be able to move this little bit, plus or minus maybe 10, 20 kilohertz from the centre with this control. And apart from gain, that's the only other controls you've really got uh, on the front panel. But at least it's working and um, doing what it should be doing. And as I say, I've, I've changed no components other than a couple of tubes at this time.